Hello, welcome to Stone Magpie for this very quick whip and chat while we finish the rose that this delightful elephant is holding in his trunk. We're going to start with the cross symbol, this lovely green. And it is the first time ever that I am doing an evening video. Yes, for Christmas, I was very kindly given a new light. So hopefully you can see very clearly whilst I'm diamond painting on this bright light ahead. I think it does shine on the glue a little bit. However, it's the best we can do as it's so dark outside. As you know, normally I have a lovely cup of tea beside me while I'm diamond painting. However, I'm going to say cheers, everybody. Cheers, ding, ding. <laughs> no sweeties on my table, but I have got a lovely glass of pink. <laughs> ready for when we finish this diamond painting. Woohoo! So if you are watching on an evening, then do feel free to join in. If not, then get your cup of tea ready. Because as I say, we're so close to finishing this delightful elephant and I'm really looking forward to showing you the full picture once we've got the rose finished. However, I did think it was such an appropriate diamond painting to end this year with. Not only because this Bohemian elephant was a gift, a very kind gift from a viewer of Stone Magpie, and I have enjoyed every minute of this kit. It has kept giving and giving with the different types of diamonds and all of the different colours. It was a beautiful kit to work on. It is a diamond dots kit and I've never done a diamond dots before. And I have to say, I would definitely do another one. It's been such a delight. Not only has it got the really good quality round diamonds in this kit, it also had ABs and metallics, as well as special diamonds put into certain places on the elephant. So I will show you all around when we get to the end of this rose. And it's not only for that reason why this diamond painting was so appropriate for the end of the year. It is also because right at the start of this year, you may well remember or you may well have seen since, I started the year with an elephant diamond painting. <laughs> not this one, a different one of an elephant on a bed and he was holding a little girl putting a beautiful star in the sky. And right at the beginning of January, I did a video called Wish Upon a Star. So we started the year with an elephant and we're finishing the year with an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and that feels so appropriate. I do hope that you can see this video quite clearly because honestly, I am struggling a little bit with the shadows in seeing where I'm placing the diamonds. So hopefully this video will show up enough for me to be able to post it because I definitely wanted to have an end of the year celebration with you all and say a massive thank you to everybody who has followed the channel, subscribed, liked and commented throughout the whole year. I feel very, very fortunate to have you all with me. You're such kind, lovely people and I feel very fortunate for that. So thank you very, very much. If you haven't seen the 
elephant that I started the year with. I will link him up in the eye so that you will be able to find that video too. Because as I say, I called it Wish Upon a Star. And I asked everybody who was viewing to make a wish and we would keep our fingers crossed that those wishes would come th true throughout the year. So did you watch the video? Did you make a wish? Did your dream, your wish come true? Please do let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear. I really, really hope that your wishes did come true, come true, come to fruition during this last year. I have to say, <laughs> I have to say that mine didn't. However, that means that I can wake up each day and still be optimistic about whatever opportunities are coming my way. Waking up with that sense of excitement. It could be today. <laughs> My wish could come true today. So if that is also you, then do not lose hope. There is always hope for another day for those wishes to come true, to have that optimism, get up on a morning with a sense of purpose, a sense of adventure and a sense of opportunity. Look at this fantastic AB that I'm putting in now. This light really shows it off. Wow, it's dazzling. Such good diamonds in this kit. As I say, it's a diamond dots kit. So maybe you've already done diamond dots. I think this blue wax every now and again. Now I'm doing ABs as well. I think I'll use the multi-placer end because I don't want to put some fresh wax in just yet while I'm doing ABs. I am using blue wax now in my pen. I really do like it. It is the wax that came with the Oraloa kit. I find that with the blue wax, I can use my metal tips. And it's not too harsh on the AB with the blue wax in. So I'll finish these T symbols and then I will renew my blue wax and we will be able to get this rose completed. There we are. Pop those back in there. Let's um, sort my blue wax out into the end of my diamond pen. Blue wax tends to be a bit more crumbly than the pink wax. It dries out a bit quicker, but I find it leaves less residue. Saying that, there's a big lump there. <laughs> oh dear, right. Okay, let's do those lines first. This pink, bright bubblegum pink around the edge of our rose here. So it seems that we've had two different camps of people in the festive period. We've had those that have had loads more time to diamond paint and those like myself that have had family staying and therefore not as much time as they would normally to do some diamond painting. It is always nice to have the family here, um, but not great for me doing my videos. So I'm really pleased that I've got some time to sit with you this evening. 
and get this diamond painting finished. So I really hope that you've had a very fun festive season, whatever you have been doing, whether you've managed to get lots of diamond painting done that you wouldn't normally have time to do, or whether you have been taking part in family occasions. So have you made any New Year resolutions? That is the question. Is that something that you do like to do? And if you do, do you tend to stick to them? <laughs> because that is a whole other matter, isn't it? <laughs> oh, we may make these good intentions. Do we stick to them? And if so, how long do we stick to them for? I've, not, I've decided not to really make any resolutions this year. I'm just going to try my best all year round. I do feel sometimes like it's setting myself up to fail. <laughs> so I'm thinking if I can just be as good as I can be throughout the year, then that's the best I can hope for. <laughs> I did, I suppose, it's not a resolution as such, but I did think, okay, I need to start trying to eat a bit healthier this year. We have bought a, sl a slow cooker, so I've got a couple of recipe books and I intend on a morning to get the tea sorted into the slow cooker, ready for when we get home from work. And hopefully we can introduce a bit more vegetable based meals. I do think it would be rather nice getting home from work and having the tea cooking, that smell when you walk through the door. And hopefully it will help us, you know, not just grab whatever is easy out of the fridge or out of the cupboard. So it's not a resolution and it's not a diet, it's just um, a new way of looking at things. <laughs> so I will probably still be eating my sweeties. I know, I know, I do get told off about my sweetie eating, but you know, Anything in moderation, I think, is key. We can all make healthy choices. We're all adults. We all know the choices that we make can affect us. But um, a little bit of something naughty does us good. <laughs> Now you know I'm a little bit naughty, you know that you're always getting me into trouble. Gosh, I'm really struggling, you know, with this light overhead. So if you're wondering why I keep placing things down and then shuffling them along, it's I think I'm getting so many shadows on the canvas as I'm trying to place them down. I think next time I try to do an evening video, I think I'm going to have to change the light position. Or perhaps introduce um, a light pad underneath the canvas instead because this is actually really quite tricky, trickier than what I imagined it would be. Having, it's like an LED circle overhead. And I have to say, it's not worked brilliantly fantastic.
So these may well be slightly out of place. I might need to do a little bit of what I call faffing at the end just to make sure. I tell you what though, the LED light is very, very bright. I am impressed with the brightness of it. I just wish that I'd experimented before setting up the video to do tonight. But I was too impatient to get talking to you all again. <laughs> it has been a really good break from work. I feel very well rested. And um, yeah, getting up for work again is going to be a bit of a <laughs> trial because I've not been getting up at six o'clock any longer. So yes, I'll have to get myself back into my usual routine pretty quickly. I can see just one of those pinks there. Just pop it onto my hand for speed into place and let's then do we'll do the arrows Ooh, a bright bright lipstick red really really beautiful color let's get these into place I wonder how many of you got diamond painting kits for Christmas. Let me know, did Santa bring you any diamond painting kits? Any vouchers for kits? Any diamond painting accessories, pens, etc.? Any vouchers? I have got an unboxing coming up, which is one of the Diamond Art Club Black Friday deal unboxings. I'm still getting through those. I've only now done two of my Black Friday and Cyber Monday deal unboxings. So I still have a fair few to do. So bear with me on that one. because I will be unboxing all of the kits at some point so we can have a good look around the kits, discover those together. Not sure which kit I'm going to be working on next, I have to say. Jewelry's still out on that one. I am still working on my Oraloa Fairy on a Toadstool, which is a round as well. So I definitely want a square. And if you look, if you saw that video of me showing you what kits I bought, <laughs> you'll notice that every single one of them was a square kit. <laughs> Not done on purpose, I promise you. If I'd liked the artwork and it was a round, I would have still gone for it. But it just so happened that all of my choices were square diamond paintings. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So yes, that's not helped me out any, any because I do want to do a square diamond painting next. So it could be the Oraloa or it could be a Diamond Art Club kit. We'll see. I'll wake up one morning and just think, right, that's the one. And if I don't, then I will be putting the choice over to you again. Because <laughs> you do help me out. You're ever so kind. You do help me out with my decision making sometimes. If you can hear that scratching in the background, that is actually Monty. He's here with me and he's just trying to get a little bit warm, I think. Monty, sit down. 
Goodbye. Find a nice spot. Gosh, I'm way off these placements. Oh my goodness, really am. <laughs> Yes, I've got this light. My husband kindly bought me this light for my Christmas present and I do have a new camera stand. If you've seen some of the videos where the camera stand starts drooping, getting closer and closer to the canvas, <laughs> then hopefully, did I put that? Oh gosh, did I? Yes. Um, hopefully that will no longer happen. <laughs> Right, let's see, I need to get these in the right place because we've only got the number three left. Oh no, I've got two more arrows up there. Okay, that one's the wrong way around. Right. Okay, so let's get those number threes. I don't think that's too bad. I think they're pretty much in the right place now. Let's do a little bit of scooching. Yeah, I think so. Right, number three, and this is the last colour that we're doing in this diamond painting. A deeper red, this one. You can see those curls of the rose petals there in each colour. Really, really pretty. Okay, so here we go. On to our last colour. I very, very nearly did this video live. <laughs> and then I chickened out at the end because I'm using my light for the first time and you know, it is evening. I thought, should I, shouldn't I? But because I need to work on the setup, I did wonder whether I'd be stopping the video to try and get it sorted out. So it isn't alive, but watch this space because I really do think I need to put my big girl knickers on, as it were, and um, do a live for us. I've talked about it a number of times and never had the gumption to go ahead. And I think it's because I just, I like to diamond paint because that's what you're, you've come to see. And I'm worried about the chat box, keeping up to the chat and diamond painting, but we'll just have to see when I get eventually to do one then we'll see how that would work. Now do get your glasses, your cuppers, whatever. If you are having sweeties, get those ready for a sweet celebration. Or your Tic Tac boxes, we could do that as well. Shake the Tic Tacs. <laughs> as we head into the last diamonds in this fantastic diamond painting kit. Here we go. Two, one, shake your Tic Tacs. Yeah! Doo -doo 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 -doo. And here is a rose for you guys to say a really big thank you with a heart for supporting the channel all of the time that you've been with me. I really, really, really do appreciate each and every one of you. I have opened up the super thanks 
which you can find on the channel if you would like to make some sort of a donation that would be greatly received. However, if you want to give with kindness, then please do hit a like, send me a comment or I invite you to subscribe. Thank you so much. Right, let's have a look at the full diamond painting. Woohoo! We got a finish! The first finish of 2023, guys! Wow! Woo, right. Let me introduce you to drum roll, please. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, it's ages since I've done a drum roll. Ellie, the Bohemian Elephant. Yeah! Yeah! Round of applause. Look how stunning she is is can you see all of the glinting of the metallic stones and those jewels that just finish it off so beautifully started with the flowers in the headdress and then as i moved down i did actually instead of using release papers diamond paint each area separately so i think it just naturally occurred that way where i did the feathers and then I moved on, look at that peacock feather there, so cute. And then I moved on to the rose, moved on to the rose, and then I started working down the way. So I started working down this ear, down this ear, and then I started completing the top part of this ear, the top part of this ear, and then I moved down the left-hand side to complete that ear. Look at the colours and the detail in that ear all the way down to that beautiful feather earring with the gold jewels and the blue. Look at the veining on the blue side too. I love the fact that it's got the hot and cold sides to it. And again, the other feather earring. Then the tusks. I mean, they are stunning tusks, aren't they? And then we started on the trunk detail. Oh, not forgetting the eyes. I did the middle bit. I didn't do the metallic bit straight away. I did the eyes and then I moved on to the trunk area and then the banding down here was also beautiful. So every part of this diamond painting was just such fun to do. I'm going to get you some close up shots of just the different parts. That jewel there as well, isn't that clever? Anyway, I'll get you some close-up views and you can see what I mean about the colours in each area. Are you ready for your close-up, Ellie? I think she is. <laughs> so, can you see what I mean about all of the different colours in this part of the diamond painting? Starting at the top with the feathers that stick out and the peacock feathers here. I didn't put the jewels on here until later on in the diamond painting because I wanted to make sure that I could still flatten it if need be. Can you see how they all sparkle so beautifully? And if I hold up the right hand side, look at that glisten. <gasps> and it's that glisten and that sparkle that you just can't get with anything other than a diamond painting really beautiful and the background is the watercolour effect so that's not sticky at all that is not diamond painted here in the midsection is where all of that extravaganza takes place these metallic diamonds here are stunning now if I tip them out I'll show you because they actually are like crystals can you see that okay through my translucent? They are like crystals. However, it's the metallic side that we use in the diamond painting rather than the crystal side. So when it's shaken, you'll see they turn over to the metallic side. And that's what's being used along the sequined headdress. Look at the jewels in her earrings. Aren't they fabulous? really glisteny and we have the different shaped jewels all over so we've got a teardrop shape here and here we've got the marquee shape we've got round capuchons we've got a diamond shape and then we've got the teardrops and rounds in the earrings 
So once that part is diamond painted, I move to the trunk and look at those details. Really pretty bands of colour with the metallics, the ABs, all over this diamond painting. So there we have it. We can all go to the ball with our Ellie Bohemian Elephant. <laughs> she is dressed to party. So cheers, everybody. I want to wish you all a very happy new year and here's to getting lots of diamond painting done. Thank you for joining me for my first completion of the year. I really do appreciate having you here. I hope you'll join me again next time and in the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care everyone. Bye.